Percy Dardall, senior. I've been a commercial fisherman for the last, I say, 59 years, 58 years. What we're here to talk about you know, are, are called biganos down here. It's the same thing that's called a conch elsewhere, and it's what biologists, scientists, and so forth call oyster drills. Oyster drill, yeah. yeah. These are actually predators of oysters. It they, is. Yeah, they have they, a rasping tongue that'll drill yeah, right they'll, first. Uh, they'll, they'll stick that hard spot, it'll stick to the oyster, and they'll drill a hole clean through the oyster shell. Oystermen don't love them, but uh, they are good to eat. Yeah, they're all good to eat, and the, the way they come here, they're not always here 12 months a year enough. They really do prefer higher salinities. Yeah. In moderate and low salinities, There's none. they're none. Same thing as escargot, of course, that's a land snail. This is, this is a marine snail, or like a conch in Florida, which is a different kind of snail. This is our snail in Louisiana. We could make our own scungilly, but we, you know, people don't eat it. It's an underutilized resource. Crabbers also can produce these. These are typically caught by oystermen because they, they really gang they, up. They gang up on the top of the oysters. Last night I sent my son out. I sent him out at 11 o'clock last night. He went past the Leeville Bridge. He jumped overboard and went on top of the oysters and just feel because he used to fishing behind and just pulled them over the top of the oysters. So oystermen can produce these, but so can crabbers. So can crab. They'll get in crab traps. That, That's where they'll come to for the bait. These come in a big, heavy shell, and they got that scale, that operculum. Yes. What do you do to get these out? Steam them or boil them for about 10 minutes, and then you take uh, a fork or a knife, and you just dig them out of there. Okay, so all we did here was blanch these. Yeah, just... Maybe 5, 10 minutes? About 10 minutes. Okay. And then you see how easy the, 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 the top shell come off. Then you see, what the, you see where the snail's at in there? You just stick them with a the knife and you come right out. They come right out easy. You just take that hard piece off first, then you just... Now when I clean them, Percy, usually the viscera, there, it comes all out like that. Sometimes it comes all out. Okay. See, see, like see this, this black stuff here, that's what comes off. That's right? what comes off. That's no good at all to eat. You gotta, t you gotta remove all of this off to be able to eat it. So what's left is just purely the muscle, just, right? This is just pure muscle. I used to put them in spaghetti. I used to put them in jambalaya. I used to put them in uh, soup a lot of time because they taste good just like oysters does in soup. I browned two onions, then I put bell peppers, garlic, uh, jalapeno pepper, and uh, parsley, and just let it cook down. And now I'm putting the, the big nose in, I'm going to leave them cook a few minutes. If you're cooking any more than, than 20 minutes, they're overcooked. 